Italian police have arrested its number one fugitive and mafia boss, Matteo Messina Denaro. Denaro was arrested at a private clinic in Sicily after three decades on the run. He was convicted of dozens of murders and faces multiple life sentences. With more, let's turn to CTV's chief international correspondent, Paul Workman. Paul, tell us more about the arrest of Matteo Messina Denaro and why it's significant. Well, wait for the movie version on this one, Marcia. The last godfather, as he's being called. You're right, he'd been on the run for 30 years uh, and was believed to be the person behind some terrible mafia-inspired uh, crimes. He, uh, a bombing attack of two anti-mafia prosecutors, quite legendary prosecutors in, in, uh, in Sicily, who were killed in 1992. Bombings in Milan, in Florence, in Rome that killed a lot of people. The kidnapping of a 12-year-old boy who was later killed. Uh, his father was about to testify against Denaro, and the, they grabbed the boy to try to persuade the father not to, uh, not to talk. So that's the scale of what's happened here with this, uh, with this mafia boss. He was probably going to be, or was considered at one point, to be the, the biggest mafia boss in all of, of Sicily. Uh, his, um, he had a nickname, which was Diabolic, and he once boasted that he himself had filled a cemetery, Marcia. And tell us about how authorities were able to track him down and where they arrested him. Yeah, that's the interesting part. We don't really know exactly how they found him. Um, he was, he was um, apparently getting treatment in a clinic in Palermo, and the police had somehow tracked him there and knew that he'd been doing this for about a year or so. So overnight, they planted police officers inside this clinic to protect the other patients. Uh, and then this morning, when uh, Denaro went in, they grabbed him. He tried to escape, apparently, but after he saw that it was going to be impossible, um, he gave himself up. One of the difficulties for the police was that they, have, they had few pictures of Denaro. They, they weren't sure what he looked like, so they did a digital reconstruction of his face uh, so that they could try to track him down. He, there were stories that he'd had, um, uh, he, he'd had his face altered and had his fingerprints removed in the 30 years that he was on the run. Wow, so what's been the reaction to his arrest, Paul? Well, first of all, in the hospital this morning, when the other patients saw what was going on, they, they clapped uh, for the police. They applauded wow. for the police um, as he was being taken away. And uh, the Prime Minister of Italy put out a statement today saying, you know, this was uh, a very important and historic arrest, and it shows that Italy can never give up in the face of mafia threats. Wow. You called it at the outset. This mm. is a movie. This is... This is going to be on Netflix. <laughs> yes, uh, Paul Workman, thank you very much for that update.